On this week's edition, we're going to tell you about a new art studio in the city's up-and-coming Canal Quarter District. So I'm here at 1517 Princess Anne Street, which is the home of Canal Quarter Arts. And I'm here with Jeannie Ellis, who is the owner of Canal Quarter Arts, and Liz King, the uh, artist who created this beautiful mural on the side of the building here at Princess Anne and Canal Streets uh, in, the, in the city's Canal Quarter district. Um, and uh, so Jeannie, why don't we start off by uh, telling you, why don't you just tell us a little bit about what Canal Quarter Arts is. Well, it's a, it's a working studio and also kind of a display area for artists that, um, that need um, to get their art out there and um, been open since December of 2019. Um, Matt Haney bought the building December of 2018. I decided to put an art studio in here. There was a need. I had a waiting list from Darby Town and I just went ahead and, and went for it. And we have a nice group of artists here, 18 including myself here. You're also the owner of Darby Town Art Studio. Yes, yes. Um, and um, and so you have you have you said have 18 artist studios, and you also do classes here. Yes, so there's 18 artists here. Some use it as studio space. Some use it just for displaying. Um, we have a potter here, um, Lawton Kleitz. He offers classes. We have Joelle. Um, Kathleen Gilbert. She also offers classes in her studio space. That's upstairs. Um, so we do offer those kind of classes. Liz has even done some private lessons and with her watercolor. So there are artists that do offer classes, but, um, but the classroom is upstairs and that's Joelle Kathleen's. Okay. And, um, talk a little bit about the, um, why you selected this as a location. You know, this is within the city's, uh, sort of new, newly branded canal quarter district. So just talk about sort of the, I think it's I think it's the next up and coming area for downtown. It's um, the gateway coming into downtown, and um, I think it's, it's just a matter of time before it's really thriving. Yeah, and uh, certainly the, uh, the the mural that people see coming down uh, Princess Anne is very striking. Yes, and uh, catches people's attention. And yes. Liz, why don't you just talk a little bit about uh, about the mural and, and and what you depicted here? Well, Jeannie came to me and asked if I would do it, and I was a little apprehensive. I'm a watercolorist, but um, don't really work in this medium at all. But she gave me, you know, confidence I could do it. So I said, as long as you want to whitewash it, if it didn't work. <laughs> so um, we, I just went for it. Uh, I had some photos that I had taken from the river, and so kind of put it together on the computer and designed the, and then went for it. Um, and really, I had a lot of support from Jeannie on a daily basis. And and then we had a lot of people that would just drive by and really give me a lot of feedback that was really good. They really liked it in the area. So it was really, it ended up being a lot of fun. Yeah, and it depicts the old um, power plant. Power plant, the old power yeah. plant. I had one person ask me if those were the exact things that were broken or not. <laughs> and they are. They are. <laughs> She's so, very exact. Um, yes, uh, I actually had the owner of the power plant pull up, and he was very impressed with it. Okay, so, great. Yeah. And then you've got a, kind of a river scene and some. River scene, the blue herons. I mean, they are just really popular here. So it it really turned out very well. Okay. Well, it's it's beautiful, and it's something you definitely that catches your eye uh, coming coming down from the sand. So well mm -hmm. done. And, you, and your studio is also here, is that right? Yes, my yeah. water. I have watercolors inside that I sell, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, I've given some private lessons as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good thing. Well, the uh, the improvements that you've made uh, to the building are, are fantastic, Thank and, you. The, and, the, and it's great to have this business here. And I certainly agree with you that this is a very up and coming area. Yeah. Um, so, um, how can people find out more mm -hmm. about? Uh, about Canal Quarter Arts? Um, we have a Facebook page and we have an Instagram page. So just um, I advertise through that and um, just word of mouth. And our first Fridays, um, they're a little slow right now. The trolley's not running. So our first Fridays aren't as big as they used to be. The pandemic, it's kind of changed the way we operate and as it's causing us to all think outside the box and reshape our businesses. But we're getting there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hopefully things will normalize here, and hopefully not too distant future. But uh, it's great to see what you've done here, thank um, you both so inside much. and outside. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank um, you. So Liz and Jeannie, thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank yeah, you. That'll do it for this week's edition. Um, 
We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get an email each time we put out a new video. See you next week. Great.